Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this very fun look for you. This kind of fuchsia eye and lip. I have had this lipstick for a year or two and I think I've worn it once and I've just been eyeing it in my storage compartment thinking I need to do a look with this. So if you would like to know how I got this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> Why are you so sad? Hi. First of all, I put a little bit of tape on the sides of my eyes. You will see why towards the middle of this video. Taking my Match Perfection Concealer by Rimmel, I'm just going to put that on my eyelids and under my brow and blend it in with my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge just to give us a nice little priming base to put our eyeshadows on top of. Taking this Comfort Zone palette by Wet n Wild, I'm going to take this really pretty orangey taupe shade and we are going to, as you can guess, blend that into our crease. Orangey warm tones are so perfect for blending into your crease as a transitional shade. They just really, when worked into the crease, give a beautiful warm transition to go from whatever color you're going to put on your eyelid to underneath your highlighting, your brow bone. And if you hear the wind outside, it is crazy outside in Ohio right now. The wind is crazy, it looks like it's snowing. So just bear with this voiceover. Next, I'm gonna take one shade darker in the Comfort Zone palette to the tannish brown color. And that's just going to warm up where we have the orange and make it a little bit deeper of a shadow in our crease. And again, blending is key, so blend until your heart is content. It just really makes everything look clean and come together and that way you don't have any harsh lines. Everything just looks beautiful. And my laptop's dying, so let me plug that in real quick. Next, I'm taking the burgundy shade from the Comfort Zone palette and I am going to work that into my outer corner and into my crease about halfway. I don't want to get take this too far in towards my eye just because I like to keep darker shades on the outside and towards the kind of like a wing effect on the outside of your eye. So I'm just going to put that in my outer V and blend, blend, blend. You definitely want to blend with darker eyeshadows that just really keeps them from looking all smudgy and kind of like dirty and it'll look way better once it is blended. You want it to look smoked out, not dirty. Then I am just taking that first blending brush and going back over everything, just making sure everything is nice and blended and even. Then I'm taking my L'Oreal Infab Infallible Infallible Eyeshadow in Glistening Garnet. This color, you guys, is so beautiful. It is the perfect ruby garnet red shade, and I am going to just pack that onto my eye. I am not going to take that too far into that burgundy dark shade on the out. I'm just going to slowly blend, well, not slowly in the video because I speeded it up speeded it up. I can't even talk. I sped it up for you guys, but I am just going to carefully warm that into that burgundy dark shade and work that into my inner corner of my eye. Just getting that all over the lid. Look at that shade. And again, we are blending because you cannot blend enough. I mean, you might be able to, who knows, but 
Blending is key when using multiple eyeshadows. Then going in with my e.l.f. cream eyeliner. This is so black and so creamy. I love this eyeliner. I picked it up a couple days ago. It just works so well. I definitely recommend this to beginners who typically use a pencil, but they kind of maybe want to up their game a little bit, but they're not quite sure about liquid eyeliner. This is so much easier to use than liquid eyeliner. I feel like it's easier to clean up and it just looks so flawless when put on. I definitely, definitely recommend this for beginners or even people who are well into their makeup game. Definitely, definitely recommend this. Then we are going to peel off our tape and oh my lord, that wing. It got a little bit ahead of me. I got a little bit too much on there, but we're going to take a wipe and clean it up so that it can be perfected or at least cleaned up to where I want the wing. It is so easy to overdo your wing these days. I get way too carried away sometimes as you're about to see with this one. This one got a little too thick too, but you know, it happens. And we're just gonna go with it because this is a pretty dramatic look anyway with the whole red eyeshadow and fuchsia lips. So, you know, we'll go with it. Taking the tape off again and just doing a little bit of cleaning up the eyeliner. This really just makes everything look so clean and so perfected when you use a wipe. I really use this tip and technique a lot when dealing with eyeliner. I am going to take my eyelash curler. You can go ahead and step this step this oh, i cannot talk today you can skip the step if you're not comfortable with using one of these i just feel necessary for my lashes taking the ultimate all-in-one mascara by revlon i just picked this up the other day and i love it so much already i don't think this video does it justice at all it really does lengthen and lift and give you that volume where you need it on your eyelashes this is just a beautiful mascara i don't know that i've ever tried a revlon mascara that i can think of off the top of my head but this was definitely a good one to try for my first one by them. I really, really like it and definitely suggest trying it out. It is new and they do have a couple different variations of that line right now. I know I saw about three different kinds at the drugstore the other day, but this one just kind of said that it did it all, so I grabbed it. Going back in with the Comfort Zone palette into that tannish brown and on a smudger, uh, a smudger brush, we're just going to kind of breeze that along the bottom lash line, make it a little smoky. Anytime I'm doing a dramatic eye, I like to do this with some of the colors I used on top just to even it out and give that smoky effect. Went a little overboard, as you can tell. Oops. Going back in with the Glistening Garnet on top of the brown shade just to make it pop a little bit. And then, of course, we're going to take the Revlon Mascara again and do a coat on the bottom lash line. This just really opens the eyes up and makes everything stand out that you just applied to your lower lash line. And as you can tell, before I did all this, I did my whole face. I didn't, I didn't think you guys really needed to see that. You saw it in my last video, and it just would take up a lot of time if you guys want to see a full foundation review or routine. Um, leave it in the comments below, and that's something I can work on. I am going to tell you right now, I hate lip liner, and this did not go well at all. And of course, I got it all on film, just how bad it went wrong. I overlined half of my top lip, it just looked horrible. I am not a lip liner girl, but I tried. This is the Flirty Fuchsia Milani lipstick that I raved about in the beginning. I just love it. Look at that pinky fuchsia tone, and it's so creamy. I love all Milani lipsticks. Like, literally, I have about 15 of them, 
and there's not one that I do not love. I just really, really wanted to use this and it really just gave me the summer vibes. I'm so ready for spring and summer weather to just be here and uh, stay, stay warm and the warm weather and just everything. I am so ready for it. And that pretty much completes this look. I'm gonna clean it up a bit and we are done. I will see you guys in my next video.